and cover the second topic, which is the labeling. So in this terrain option, we have major labeling two tools, which are labeled terrain contours, and second is labeled terrain spots. So in the label terrain contours, it will label the terrain contours and annotate it elevation according to the text alignment or annotation mode you have selected. I will demonstrate that later. And also, I have a label terrain spots, which is the second part in labeling, which helps you to annotate the spots in the terrain model. So this can also be done in different ways. And you can also rotate the text and by the horizontal or vertical position if you want to. So I will demonstrate the label terrain contours now. I will go back in Open Roads Designer. So here I have to go to the terrain model. And in this, there is an option called label terrain contours. But before selecting that, I have to make sure that the contours on this, the terrain model should be visible. So what I'll do, I'll go to the property. As you can see here, I'll turn off the triangles and I will turn on the major contours and the minor contours, which I want to label them. All right, so I will go back to the labeling and label terrain contours. So now in this dialog box, it asks me to select the terrain model, which I will select the boundary. Then it gives the update as this is the name of the model, existing terrain. Then the annotation mode, you can select that you want to annotate all contours or you can annotate only the major contours. For this uh, demonstration, I'll be selecting all contours. Then it asks me for the text alignments. So you can use that as an upslope and a follow line. So in upslope, it will annotate according to the elevation that uh, the contours are in. And in the follow line, it will annotate according to the follow line which I will use. So first I will select the upslope and select the dimension style, the basic one. So I'll select the boundary. And for example, I need to annotate over here. So I'll draw one alignment here. And as you can see, if I zoom in, the annotation is in the increasing order of the elevation because I have selected the text alignment as upslope. So 164, 165, and 166. It will not follow my follow cursor. So it will follow the elevation. But if I want to follow with the cursor, which I have uh, draw the line in, so all I need to do is select the follow line and draw one follow line in parallel to that. And as you can see here, now the annotation is in different uh, state. So currently it is not going with the elevation, increasing elevation order, but with the follow line, which I have just drawn. So this is the difference between the follow line and upslope. So I'll go ahead and select the label train spots. But before that, all I need to do is turn off the contours and turn on the spots quickly. All I do is just go to the properties and turn off the contours. And here are the spots, I'll turn them on. So once I select that, I will zoom in to some spot location. I will select the tool now, label terrain spots, and I will select the textile which I want to select. I'll select a random basic one, then text dimension, and over here, we have the text rotation. The first I will uh, select it as horizontal one and location and horizontal attachment as automatic. So what I'll do now is select the boundary. Once I select the boundary, you can select the spot which you want to annotate and you can go ahead and place that somewhere here. So as you can see, the text is now in horizontal position because of the text rotation method, which is horizontal. So what if, if you want to annotate in a vertical position, you have to go ahead and select the text rotation as vertical. So I'll zoom out, I'll select a new spot. Here's the new spot. I will place it right next to it. So as you can see here, it is now being placed as vertical annotation. So 
you can select that on your need. Either you want it on horizontal or on the vertical. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.